It has been a week, a whole week, um, of Azid's rehab plan. So he's going to do two weeks of in-hand walk, then he's going to do four weeks of ridden walk, then we'll progress to trot for four weeks, then we'll do a couple of weeks of canter, and then we'll reassess, hopefully, if he stays sound through that time. So week one update, gone really well. He's been so keen, bless him. If I come into the field, he literally tries to put in his, his head in whichever head collar I've got, regardless of whether it's his or not, and tries to come through the gate. Then when I like groom and tack him up, he literally puts his bridle on, he's like, yep, <laughs> take me with you. So he's really enjoying being back in work. He's moving really well, maybe a little bit short in front, but kind of that's to be expected. Um, he's got a chiropractor appointment on Monday just to kind of check him over. So yeah. It's a positive start, but there's a long, long way to go. So I'm hoping to kind of update every few weeks, mainly so I can look back on it to see how it went and hopefully um, look back on it and be really pleased rather than really sad. So let's just see where they are. Aziz! Tell! Quante! Here they come. Always the first one, Azid. You're so keen. Look at him go. Hey, boy. Hello. Qantas, Tizzy taking up the rear. You're in bad books, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, boy. You ready for another training session? Yeah? Let's go. I just had such a good long running session with Aziz. I couldn't film on the GoPro because I need two hands to long run, but I do have a little clip on my phone that I can put up here because the sun was setting and it was so lovely. Um, and as I was like walking around, it gives you loads of time to kind of see them move and think about what you're doing and your body position and stuff, which is why I really like it. But also, it was like he was in my head. Uh, he turned when I wanted him to, he stopped, he like went, his stops were square, halts were square. It was just so, so lovely and wonderful to train him. And we were doing like serpentines and circles and um, halts all in walk. And then the thought struck me that I backed Azid. Like I, I've trained him and all this hard work and how wonderful he is to school and how connected we are is actually the product of what we've done together and I was like oh little, I know right a little happy fizzy moment of like realization when all your hard work has paid off I know it's week one I'm getting ahead of myself but I, it was just so nice to train him we're so connected and he's just so responsive I'll stop blabbing about him now <laughs> hey Azid well done good boy <laughs> it's a super misty morning. I actually quite like it when it's like this, although it's cold and you can't really see. Um, it's just so like ethereal and atmospheric. So I'm going for my first hack on Azid with Sarah and Delwyn. Um, we're just going to walk because he's still got four weeks of walk to go. Um, I'm so excited. Ah. <gasps> Time to get to Zedin! Oh, he's got a slug on his head! That is gross! You mega! <laughs> you mega! A front right shoe. Hey. But nope. Left. Yes, you have. Look at your face. What is this? The little mud monster. Be nice to him. So mean to Pontus. 
I mean, he deserves it most of the time, to be fair. Okay. So well then, you! Let's go! <laughs> so fast! <laughs> Ponies, literally eight of seven ponies. You're so impatient, huh? I'm taking the Z that ready to go. Oh, I didn't do a very good job of grooming it. Ready to go on our first hack in 18 months. in 18 months and I am super excited it's not really ideal hacking conditions it's quite misty but I've got lots of high and lots of light so it's fine I'm putting my daytime high vis on so that be safe, be safe people and it's got my reflective boots in the front and then we'll have all my lights flashing I think we'll go for number two and one on the back of my jacket as well oh my god it's a yellow and pink <laughs> I'm very smart <laughs> stay safe <laughs> this is Darwin uh, he's uh, <laughs> 16 years old <laughs> He's an old, old, not as old as most, but he's old. <laughs> he's not that old. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be interesting anyway. <laughs> plan. She got foggier as we went, but they were beautifully behaved. Considering he's a seven-year-old that's not been ridden in the last 18 months, he was really good. But he's definitely going to need a clip, aren't you? Look at the steam. Let's put a cooler on you. I'll boil a kettle and we can warm water, warm cloth you down, eh? Boy. Come here. Come on. Week three of Aziz's rehab is going well. Schooling over poles really nicely, still in walk. Which means we've got, we've got one more week that he can trot. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. We're going for another hack with Sarah as well.
have actually managed to remember whose brush is whose. <laughs> so I'm going to do a poor job of grooming, just where the tack goes. I haven't washed his legs because I don't need to. Because um, we're just going for a little hack with Izzy today. One more week of walk and you can trot your favourite. on the challenges as me video that I put the saddle on from the right and I know that traditionally you put the saddle on from the left you stood on the towel that was either sorry um, but uh, endurance horses have to be used to having the saddle taken off from both sides because as you're coming into a vet gate you'll want you'll be on one side they'll be crewing one side someone will take the saddle away and you actually don't want the girth to like get in the way so for speed purposes we take them off from the right and for safety so the girth isn't kind of trailing on the floor and because it's it's quite a quick process untacking for endurance so i know traditionally you put it on from the other side but i literally put it on whichever side is facing me at the time and it's good for horses to have things done to them both sides it makes them more balanced today is the end of a zed walk phase so the last training session I did with him was doing some hill walks um, in the dark, which I think I took a little video on my phone of like nine lights and the, all the stuff he wears to, for us to hack in the dark. Um, and today is his first trot. Um, so I have kind of like a, a rule that I have kind of transferred from my human physio to equine um, training. I don't know where I got this from and which papers I read um, but do your own research guys because I'm not an expert but I like to increase everything by no more than 50% so say I did 10 minutes trot today the next time I'd do 15 minutes trot and then the next time I could add seven and a half minutes on I'm not going to do the maths because Dan will laugh at my trying to work out math space and I know it's easy but numbers are stressful for me but it would be more than 15 minutes. It would be 22 and a half minutes trot. Well done. <laughs> Come on then. This is what equestrian life is like in the autumn winter. Really dark. So right now I'm being blinded in the face by the light on our camera. But it's really dark. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. But we can't see you now. And actually it's really good training for Aziz. You can turn it back on because when he hopefully maybe one day <laughs> if everything goes to plan and he doesn't injure himself in the next few years, which he definitely will because that's his favourite thing to do. Um, for a mass start, there'll be floodlights, there'll be head torches everywhere. So the more he is subjected to things like that, the better. little bit rushed and on the forehand but the first trot not bad no airs above ground no bucking he feels all right he needs to lengthen his stride a little bit he's a bit short and choppy but I think that'll that'll come as he relaxes I don't think that's from pain because his ears are forward he, he feels okay 
so, I'm so happy. I can't believe like five months ago the vet came and was like, if if this gets infected then he's a goner. And now we're back on board. I guess we'll we'll know kind of over the next few weeks what kind of level he may or may not be able to train at. Hopefully, if he's still sound by January, at least he'll be, if nothing else, sound as a as a hack horse and light work and schooling and fun. And we'll just go from there. Take it as it is. Was that hard work? Let me. I need to turn off my Equilab. I put my Equilab on, so it will tell me how much trotty I've been doing and how many loops and stuff. It's just me. 16 minutes of walk. Five minutes of trot, I'm a good guesser. Zero canter, he did get two sneaky strides in. We saw you, we saw you. So that's good, so next time I trot him, it'll be five minutes and it was nice and equal. So we did three minutes each way for all the turns, which I'm really pleased with. Hey, well done. And no, look, look, he went round and round and round in circles. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> such a loud eater um it was seven and a half minutes will be his next trot i was i was wrong um i told you i'm not great at quick math um, it's really interesting actually the difference between azid and Qantas. so Qantas, you can get him going really nice and low from your legs in the walk and he's that's what he likes to do first and then you can get him to trot if you do trot too soon he gets quite stressed azid if you're walking him he gets quite stressed so if you go into trot he'll start to drop and relax and then when you come back to walk he's more relaxed so it's just interesting what different horses kind of need to relax in the school and when they're schooling and stuff um though you can't really call what i was just doing with the zed schooling because he was rushing everywhere so we will work on it we'll get our rhythm back we'll get him to stretch out his stride but for now i'm just so happy and Aziz's very happy because he's eating. He's always happy when he's eating. He was so loud. I'm so happy to see how far he goes. Oh, I can 